I think he's just uh, got a little calmness, uh, poised him, I think, very direct uh, uh, understanding of what he wants. And um, also, I think he, he just wants everyone feeling good about themselves and really trying to portray that through himself uh, to guys individually and to the group. So uh, he's been excellent so far. How difficult is it to sort of be at this point mid-season where you're, you're sort of adapting to n a new coach, a new style of practice, and, and a new style of play? Yeah, I would say it's probably not ideal. I think uh, we're in this situation uh, because we didn't play well enough, obviously. So uh, at the same time, I think when something like that happens, I think as a group, uh, as a team, and individually as players, you know, you feel the responsibility that we haven't played well enough. So uh, certainly with the, the added uh, attention to uh, uh, changes we're making, uh, we have to continue to hunker down and really focus and dial things in uh, considering uh, uh, the circumstances. So um, it can be difficult, but at the same time, I think we've got a really talented team and uh, we know uh, uh, we want to be a lot better and continue to get better. It's amazing what a couple of weeks can do. How important was your time with the Marlies not only to get your game back to where you think it is, but mentally to get back up to, to snuff as well and, and prepare yourself for this opportunity. Yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a long long two weeks, but, you know, it's, Marlies is a good situation down there. You know, they have a good team, a good group of guys. It's a fun atmosphere down there. So, uh, you know, it's fun to go and, uh, you know, get some games in and get some wins down there. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm also glad to be a back up here now. Emotionally, it had to be tough those first few days to go back and, and get yourself built up again. Uh, was that the case for you, and has this just been a, a process over the 10 or so days beyond that? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, definitely difficult. Uh, there's no denying that. Um, but, uh, like I said, like down there, uh, you know, I'm familiar with, you know, the coaching staff, the trainers, uh, you know, the guys on the team down there, and, like, so they have a fun atmosphere. But also, too, there's a no shortage of people down there that, you know, really care about you as a person. Uh, so, you know, you end up having good talks with a lot of people, uh, you know, from coaching staff uh, to other people uh, in the organization. Uh, you know, so that is always good to have, you know, that dialogue and, you know, uh, be able to talk your way through it. And uh, then, you know, come game time, uh, you know, be able to go in with a clear head and uh, just focus on what you have to do uh, in the uh, game. The last two days at home meant, you think, for the coaching staff, you guys, as you now move forward and into another busy stretch more? Yeah, I think it's been important. Uh, obviously, practice days like this are, are big for us. And, you know, like yesterday as well, with a... Um, a new coach in place with lots of change, with, you know, lots of things that have to be discussed and with lots of video to watch. So it was good that we got a chance to take care of that. A lot of guys have played under Sheldon Keith before. How helpful have they been, I guess, in sort of passing along the message that he's trying to pass along in short order here? Yeah, I think it's been helpful. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, the, I mean, the first 12 hours, there's a lot of questions going their way just about him, about his personality, about his style. But I, I mean, I think, you know, since he's been here, he's been pretty, uh, pretty transparent with us, and uh, that's been great. So, you know, it hasn't been tough to get a read on it or anything like that. He's been very open, and we've had some great meetings. So, I mean, once he takes charge, we kind of know where everything is and, uh, you know, how the ship's going to be run. So, uh, I think that's been great. What do you take from the end of that third period in Colorado the other night and move forward? I know it was a little chaotic back there, down a man. Um, but what do you take positively to go into Detroit and, and build from it? Well, just the win in general was big for us. Um, you know, competing that hard down the stretch and, you know, just hanging on. I thought our goalie played great. I thought guys bared down, and, you know, it's nice to get wins like that back to back. Um, and, I'm, I mean, obviously we want to keep it rolling. So, you know, we're going to take the positives and, and, uh, and keep going. Yeah, I think he's done a great job of uh, kind of picking different pieces every day and having us work on them. Uh, I think he's trying to be you know, really clear with the changes we're going to make and how he wants to make them. So. Uh, but by kind of building them into practice, it's been a good way for us to, to really hone in on uh, a few specific things. What have you liked about your line and, and how you've been able to complement those top two lines as you go over the boards in succession, contribute offensively, and obviously work uh, on things in the D zone? Yeah, I, I think uh, obviously with some of the injuries we've had, I've had a chance to play with Cappy a little bit now. And, uh, you know, he's got great speed. Uh, you know, me and Nick have played together a little bit with Kerf playing. I thought we've done some good things together, and uh, I think it's just with the nature of having guys in another lineup, it's you've been able to play with lots of different guys, so it's been uh, good for our line to, to be able to play a few games together and, and just to have practice together. And I think, you know, we're trying to do a good job. Setting up Cappy the other game, uh, when you get the puck, is it just a matter of knowing you've got a wide receiver and uh, yeah. just loop it down there? Yeah, kind of. You know, we kind of talked about it a little bit too, about him getting him to push the pace a little bit. Their D play pretty tight, and we had talked about it before the game, and then to see it happen, always is a little more rewarding. Well, I think it was, it was a matter of 
uh, the fact that you know Hutch has gone down to the Marlies and has played very well down there, and it's just that he has played. Uh, he's been, you know, he's he's, uh, he's got three games now. Played two games on the weekend, so he's gotten those reps. Obviously, we're going to be in a situation where we're going to we're going to use the backup goalie this week, and uh, we just figured, you know, it wasn't really necessarily one versus the other. It was the fact that uh, you know, Hutch has played and is sharp, and and you know, of course. Uh, has the experience here. We wanted to give him another chance. Have you played on the first game? game? Uh, right now, I'm focused on Wednesday. Uh, tomorrow's game in Detroit, and we'll make our decisions after that. You were also talking to Timu Shop a little bit. How important is it for you guys to keep guys on the fringes also in, in the loop of what's going on? Yeah, that's, that's really important. Uh, you know, in, in, in Timu's case, you know, he hasn't played in a little while here, and um, we just wanted to connect to just to give him a in that sense of what I was looking for from him, but also, you know, he had didn't play last week, and uh, with a lot of the changes, wanted to make sure that he was up to speed and was comfortable with what was, what's been going on.